players get back to the gridiron, they are not just facing dangerous tackles. They're facing the possibility of spreading coronavirus on the field. NBC 15's Colin Cahill is in Baldwin County tonight, where those athletes went one on one for the first time since the pandemic began. Colin. That's right, Kim. The 2020 high school football season got kicked off tonight with plenty of new rules and protocols to help protect these athletes. But there's still plenty of risks being taken out on the football field. High school football is giving players the chance to return to a little bit of normalcy during the coronavirus era. As the games get started this weekend, preventing the spread of the virus is the number one priority. So before the pads go on, temperatures have to be taken and any possible symptoms monitored from all summer long with us recording temperatures and monitoring the kids constantly to, to make sure that they're healthy when they report to us every single morning. Social distancing is hard to do when playing contact sports and so is wearing a mask. Those are the two biggest things the CDC says we can do to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The more contact you come into with uh, an, an opposing player mm -hmm. and uh, you know if you're face mask to face mask and you're swapping spit, um, you know, that is a big, big source of potential transmission. So while following protocols and monitoring the pandemic has given teams across the state the chance to play this fall, there are still plenty of risks that the players are taking. We also don't know what's going to happen when we have a 300 pound lineman with potentially other underlying conditions such as an enlarged heart being infected with COVID-19. So as the pads pop and the helmets clash, players on both teams put themselves at risk to injury during every play. Athletic trainers are on the sidelines for quick response, but during a pandemic, sideline medical care has spiked. Uh, we will have extra coaches on the sideline to, to help monitor the kids and spread them out from the 10 to the 10 and make sure they have their mask on and to follow those guidelines. So when it comes to the risk and the reward of playing the game this season, we talked to Fairhope head coach Tim Carter today, and he says that we can't live in fear when it comes to playing this game. Reporting in Fairhope, Colin Cahill, NBC 15 News.